look very good. Thanks, Joy. You we look very nice. It. We're in red today. Um, so you're working for um, the Donalds. This is my first time back in 13 years. Oh, wow. I was here on the first season of The Apprentice. Love it. Thank it's you. good to be back. And my, my mentor, and who I call my, the, the legend of TV, Barbara Walters, was here when I last was here. And it was an honor to be here. That's right. Um, but, so you're working in the White House with the president. What, what exactly are you doing? And do you genuflect in the morning? That's what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> do you genuflect? What, you, what are you doing for him? <laughs> So uh, I am director of communications for the Office of Public Liaison, uh -huh. and really we are the face, the coordination between the different groups that want to have a voice and to inform the policy that's happening with this administration. And so I'm honored to serve all of the different groups who want to engage with this administration. In fact, right now I'm planning our Black History Month program, and it's going to be extravagant. Wow. Oh. Well, yeah. I, let me, let me up on that because. Um, you, you say you're working on Black History Month, and, and yeah. one of your uh, jobs during the campaign was to uh, reach out to the African American yeah, community. I was the director of African American engagement, engagement. for and, the Trump Pence campaign. Right, but 94% of, of black women did not vote for Donald Trump. They voted for Hillary Clinton. And how do you respond to the criticism that Donald Trump doesn't really understand the black community, doesn't really. Well, let's put it in context. Well, let me finish my question. You, well, and, how many and, questions? Because that's the, about three or and four. The, the criticism has been that. He's just using you for optics and that he doesn't really care about the black the first community. one and then we can go through each step. First of all, African Americans traditionally vote Democratic. Mm -hmm. Let's just establish a historical uh, precedent. They, they vote for the Democrat mm -hmm. 94, 95 percent. So that's no different. But Donald Trump for got 13 percent of the African American vote. He doubled what Romney got. And he is very, very excited about engaging with the African American community. Now, your second and third question I really didn't hear. So if you want to sure. go through those again. Um, the criticism can... has been in, in the African American community that Donald Trump doesn't really care about the community. And in fact, he's just using you as, as optics. First of all, What's no one uses me. <laughs> <laughs> no one uses me. <laughs> Um, first and foremost, let me just tell you a little bit about myself, and then you can understand how I got where I am. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Youngstown, Ohio, in the Westlake Projects, a housing project. So I am the embodiment of the American dream. I grew up on welfare, on Section 8 housing. My father was killed when I was seven years old. I went to public schools. I went to Central of Ohio, got to Howard University, and started to work in politics. So I earned my way to sit in the White House. No one gave me anything, okay? Mm -hmm. And I think that um, when you start talking about the African American community, you know, the last administration decided not to aggressively do African American outreach. They felt that if they helped all Americans, then the black community would be helped. And that, you know, that really isn't the approach that we're taking. We have a very strategic plan of engaging this community. We see what's happening in the inner cities. We see that 56% of African American men under 30 are either unemployed or not in school. And we want to work to change that. We see the violence that's happening in Chicago. What? It's unacceptable. Why do you they can't it's do what you did. To see Albert the Russell. amount of murders that are happening. One second, Joy. Right. Because but what's so happening in Chicago and there's not an uproar that so many people are dying and being shot is unacceptable. Okay, well, why, and so we are going to address that. And this president already this he's week tweeted about that. Yeah. I want him government. to do anything government. there is to do to make sure that no family goes through what my family went through. My brother was murdered, not even five years ago, mm -hmm. shot dead in his own home. When I see these families in Chicago, seven or 800 families had to go through what my family went through, I had to sit in the courtroom with the man that murdered my brother. This is more than just politics. For me, Joy, this is my passion. Um, I understand what you're saying. I'm questioning why do you think you were able to make it and all these other people well, could not? You know, that's a bigger question than for well, a three minutes. Does racism have anything Joy. to do with it, for um, instance? And, and there are a lot of historical things that has happened that you, that other people could answer. I'm going to tell you about my life and my but experience. Why do you think President I was Trump, able to make it. One second, Gretchen. I was able to make help? it because my mother made sure that we were in the church, that Christ was the head of our lives, that education was at the top of every mm -hmm. single thing that we did. I think and it's quite common she kept amongst us the out black of community. trouble and out of the street. Yes. And that's why I made I can't speak because we're not all a monolith. The African American community is so diverse. But my mother and the sacrifice she made after my, my father was murdered is the reason that I am successful today. And I today. agree with all those things that you say and hats off for all Thank of your you. hard work in getting to where you are today. Mm -hmm. I guess my question is, what is it about Donald Trump, President Trump, mm -hmm. that you see 
that will help change the way in which African Americans are in our communities? Well, I think that you all have gotten to know him as a business mogul, as a, uh, an reality entertainer, star. reality star, as a reality star, now as the president of the uh, United States. I can't Joy. make it up. But I know him. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's got to burn your they blood. Said everybody I can mean, be president. He proved it. Go it's got to be really. <laughs> Joy, I know it's got to be really, really hard after uh, you know the last year and a half of all the things that you said about Donald to see him sitting in the Oval Office. I know it's got to be hard for you, but I have to tell you hard. that I know it him. It kills me as a matter. And I know it and does. He loves that. But here is here's the great thing. <laughs> you all know him as the president. I know him as a friend. I know his heart. I know the things that he's seen has never been reported on and probably folks won't ever so talk about. So we should listen to what he says? I'm talking about my experience, Joy. Yeah. You can listen to what you want. You have decided to continue to hit him and hit him and hit him and not even give him a chance in his first I'm week. waiting for I'm him to I apologize. Will I, just, I want to ask you, though. I just, you want who I'm waiting for him to apologize for all the things he said about you. Uh, to, no, no, not please. to me. Not to me. I to veterans, to John say, McCain, no, to, the, to the handicapped, to disabled. <laughs> that the message that he has about personally about school choice about opportunity about jobs I think that message did get to a lot of people and that's why a lot of African Americans a lot of people who were in poverty people of all genders and races came out my, my issue is that Americans did not come out for Donald Trump. they came out more than they had for Republicans they in did. the past and that they made something. and you have to get some credit to that but I think you also have problem. to move from campaign now he's the president right, we're no longer here's campaigning here's so those same lines how do you bring the